Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Are you doing good, Daniel? Yeah. So far, we've had some good whiskey this week. Good whiskey, and you have like a tremendous amount of support and encouragement. And people like me. In the say, comments. It's probably the good They're rallying looks. around you. Yeah. This is just great for you. Yeah. Yeah. Can this, we drink some more expensive whiskey? This is what I want to do. I uh, want to do... we got like a few days left. I have a plan, though. You had a plan? Yeah, I was going to pour you like, and me some expensive whiskey. Okay. And, and something pour. that's so rare uh, that they probably won't be able to buy it, but you will never be able to drink it again once it's gone. What kind of whiskey? So, independent bottlings of scotch. Scotch. Yeah. Okay, pick a fancy scotch. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. And... Pick what is the most widely selling, like what is the most high selling budget scotch? Johnny Walker Red would be my guess. Okay. Johnny Walker Red. Although by sheer numbers, yes. there's a one in India called Officer's Choice. Yeah. And it's just because there's so many people in India that it's the number one selling scotch on the planet. So I'm thinking to... But it's also a blended scotch. The country is that But in the West. The country, yeah. Johnny Walker Red. Our, viewer uh, our viewership from India, relatively low. Yeah. So, for people watching this channel. Johnny Walker Red. Johnny Walker Red. Yeah. Okay, so you'll be drinking... Why are you asking this question? Johnny Walker Red. No, no. I will be drinking the other thing, and we're going to be putting your sommelier description skills to the test. So while I'm drinking the fancy whiskey, you describe to me the Johnny Walker Red, and then we will do just a comparison based on your tasting notes. So I don't get to drink the fancy whiskey I was going to pour you. What's the challenge in that? <sighs> I don't know if I like the way this is headed. <laughs> the most widely purchased budget whiskey in the world is... Compass Box! Longmorn 16. <laughs> I'll go ahead and drink that, Rex. Don't uh, you bother. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get you a yeah. signatory edition of Federcare 1996. Okay. 18 years old. Ooh. Bottle number 62. Fancy whiskey. 43% alcohol. Mm-hmm. And Fetter Cairn is one of my favorite distilleries oh, yeah. that most people don't know about. Very pretty. So explain to me again what the point of us drinking two different whiskeys is. Your skills as a sommelier to describe the flavors and the notes that are happening in that glass to the extent that you can viscerally, deeply communicate to me what's happening in that bottle of Johnny Walker Red, so here's I will be able to take your expertise, okay, assuming it's there, and apply it to what I'm getting out of this glass. So because I think do I need to make it sound good, or just gonna be accurate about what it, it smells and tastes like? It would be so easy if we were both tasting the same thing. So you focus on that one, okay. I'll focus on this one, and um, yeah, be accurate, man. Come on, this is... But not, because you know, I could bullshit and make all kinds of amazing things happen in this glass, just make things up. <laughs> Yes, hint of unicorn, and no. yes, an actual, actual unicorn. And at some point, you're gonna need about three dashes of a horse's whinny. <laughs> Speak. I remember Fettercorn, Fettercorn, Fettercairn having a unicorn on one of the bottles. Is that right? Yeah. Well, Fettercairn, their main uh, creature. Yeah. That's on their Fettercairn bottle is the unicorn because it's also the national animal of Scotland. It's like it's like a steel trap. Yeah, it's a steel trap for sure. So, Johnny Walker Red yeah. presents very first as a super bright, grain-based blended whiskey. Uh -huh. So that sharp, lemony, citrusy, slightly brittle, shiny, yeah. like a Pledge furniture polish. Right. Right? Yeah. Behind that, mm -hmm. if you look really, really hard, yeah. <laughs> you get a little bit of the butter, scotchy kind of malty notes from whatever, however many malts are actually in this thing. Right. But they're really buried in the nose. Overall, it just smells light and fresh, mm -hmm. but slightly cleaning solution. Ah. <laughs> alcohol. And even for being 40% alcohol. Yeah, it's like, oh, light it fresh smells, and cleaning. It smells a lot more. Well, because you know, that's what all the cleaning commercials are, right? They all say things like, make your room smells fresh by spraying this chemical on everything you own, right. said Febreze. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Don't clean your house. Just no, cover it. Just cover it with chemical shit from an aerosol can. It's like deodorant. Everything will be fine. Deodorant from her. <laughs> right. Home. And this is a, a whiskey made according to that principle. Mm. <laughs> That's so rude. This. Wait, wait. I'm not done yet. Okay. This is complex. <laughs> 
Imagine if you took that lemony, fresh, slightly honeyed Febreze right. and then drank it. Oh god, I'm done now. <laughs> no, it's actually, here's the thing. If I've had a whole bunch of fancy whiskeys, yeah. and I'm at the point where my palate's just blown, yeah. and I want to smoke a cigar and just sit out and meh, it's like, eh, I, that's when I'm in the mood for, fuck it, give me some budget blends. When you've been, been desensitized to nuance. Yeah. Maybe you're smoking a cigar, mm -hmm. a lot of the notes are just flying past you. It's not harsh. It's not harsh. You would think it would you be. You say like it's not harsh. Solution. I know, but I'm saying in that sort of aerosol note of alcohol in the air. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it goes down pretty smoothly. It's a little bit weirdly bitter on the back end, slightly metallic tasting. Yeah. Like, um... I have this memory of a kid from putting pennies in my mouth. And you get this weird metallic coppery note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sort of reminding me of that a little bit. Hmm. So, how is your Federer, Karen Rex? I gotta tell you. This... It's real good. <sighs> real good. That's all you got? How is... No one's gonna have any idea what's going on in that Federer, Karen. I spent all this energy on Johnny Walker Red, and you are just doing jack shit for the people right now. Who is more delivering for the people right now? I am. Who is delivering only unto himself? It's a, Rex. That's pretty sweet. <sighs> sweet and good. Screw it. The people deserve tasting notes from Fetter Karen. So, my premise for this episode. Yes was that you not have a fancy whiskey, you just use your Sami skills to describe this one. Which I did. But, but, that was under, my understanding was that you were gonna give your best attempt to describe the amazing whiskey you just got to drink. And you dropped the ball. Here's the thing. Taste that and tell me it's not sweet and good. <laughs> <laughs> I defy you to Proving tell me. That's proving not a, sweet and good. Proving a negative <laughs> is the worst thing ever. Uh, interesting though. I was. I oh was, whoa, uh, that is um, that is all floral, perfumey. Yeah. Like a garden floral, dense wow. uh, flower mm -hmm. smell mm. with a heavy citrus orange note. Yeah. But behind it, mm. there's this kind of a. It's not caramel. And it's not quite vanilla. There's this weird sweet, it's like a, um, you know what it is? It's like a, uh, what do you call it, the jam? It's not jam, preserves. Marmalade? It's like a marmalade preserve, mm -hmm. right? This like super sweet or like a apricot preserves, Yep. right? Mmm. Oh, and there's a little touch. A dusting of pepper mm. at the very end. Yeah. That just keeps it from being boring. Yeah. It's oily. Mm -hmm. It's very viscous on the taste. Viscous. That 18 years has not made it boring. Yeah. That's a little bit tangy. Mm hmm. Almost salty. You know what I find interesting about this? It's like salty bread and butter with marmalade jam Is or apricot preserves. During a Rex Month episode, yeah. the parameters for that piece of content mm -hmm. were yet again defied by Daniel. If we took your plan, our videos would be 30 seconds. So between the two, <laughs> Daniel, which do you recommend? I recommend the Fetter Karen, to be sure. Do you? Yes. Uh, what's the price difference, by the way? Uh, probably around $200. Good lord. And around 20 Okay, so... Contextually, if money's not an option, right, then of course you go for the fancier whiskey. Uh, this, I think, most of the time is being used for cocktails. It's a mixer. Yeah, uh, it's making things whiskey alcoholic. Uh, yeah, and then if we're looking at different potential contexts where it's like, hey man, just crack open some Johnny Walker Red. As you were saying, mm -hmm. if you've already kind of blown out your palate with other things and you just need a little bit of whiskey and you don't mind some cleaning solution. Yeah. You don't good. mind you don't mind a little bit of Axe body spray <laughs> in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> a time and place for all things. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.